All right, so we're on the road today. Uh, everyone met up at the HQ. We left at 5 a.m. this morning because we are deal hunting. We got a deal in the works. We uh, got the whole crew here. We got Dylan uh, on the Ram Partners side. Found this deal. Going to be doing the, the due diligence today. We got we got Mike Taravella back here. Going to be doing some lease audits, and we are we're meeting the capex crew up there. We got our inspector Dan. We got Brandon. We got uh, uh, Chris Brock. We're going to be snaking the lines, taking a deep dive on the exteriors, and we're really excited because this is uh, this is our first deal that we're going to be uh, taking down in Lexington. And uh, before we get into what you're doing here, Dylan, I want to hear a little bit about the intrinsic value of Lexington and some of the uh, the things that make it uh, unique. Right, so the, the value in Lexington, that one, one thing that you'll find about Lexington which makes it really, really interesting as, as a market versus say, you know, Louisville or, you know, or, or a lot of the other markets that we're invested into is that it has natural borders that, that surround What does that mean? <laughs> How do you get natural borders? I, I laugh because it's something we talk about all the time, but the, um, the natural borders uh, in Lexington are they have, um, it has horse farms around the entire city. Um, so you have a lot of you know wealthy landowners that, that have been there for a long time with these horse farms that are almost uh, viewed as you know uh, historic or something they want to uh, preserve. It's, it's a big part of the city, um, and there, there's no plans on rezoning that land or being able to you know, even even sell the land unless they sell it as a horse farm, um, which means that you, you're really stuck with what is already built in the city. So a lot of the older product, the older buildings, have been going up dramatically in you know in, in value and. There's really a plan to have them continue to go up in value as, as investors like us will go in and purchase the building, improve the building, and you know make it competitive with um, you know with the rest of the um, you know the units out in the in the market. Who the fuck are these guys? Which is on the right. Your roof guidance is now finished. Hey, you guys with the Capex crew? What's up, guys? Nice. What's going on? How you doing, man? Good. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna cruise this parking lot. We'll be up in like two minutes. Their OM wasn't. Look at this. It just looks like a historic DC brick here. Yeah. Something happened to that door back there. I think these were hand laid bricks. Oh yeah, no, no <laughs> doubt. It's interesting, they painted the ones next to the road here. You had some uh, issues there, potentially with the foundation. You see that wall cracked over there? Yeah. yeah. Get a little signage repair going. Someone definitely whacked that. Yeah, yeah. That door looks like screwed up. Yeah. You saw that? It's just some skinny parking lots and some steep steep stairs there oh, look at that oh, you get some more runoff going on down there oh, you, need, you need some retaining walls <laughs> So wrapping up inspections today, had a really good two days. Some of the things that really stood out were location. We're next to Whole Foods, we're next to these urban marketplaces with walkability and, and great retail, uh, high populated area, great median income for the area, good tenant base. We got to walk through all the units, a lot of people were at work and the ones that you know were coming back maybe had the night shift. So really our, our retail, blue collar folks uh, were living in these apartments. Good amenity package, uh, really liked the pool area, had a fitness center, had some washer dryer hookups, clean apartment complex, and we're feeling really good about it. Cash flow from day one. That's the most important thing on a stabilized deal like this. We wanna see cash flow from day one and the ability to force appreciation for tomorrow. 
and we know that there's some room to up the rents because we saw a comp, Dylan, that uh, that's looking very sharp. So you want to talk about that? Yeah, so overall, no, no red flags during due diligence, which is always a huge thing for us. We always want to make sure that, you know, we, we go in and the property has good bones and everything looks the way we expect it to be. You know, obviously there's always a little bit of deferred maintenance. We're dealing with property that's usually over 30 years old. So, so in that case, you know, there's always going to be some different, you know, pipes you have to fix and, and different, uh, different issues throughout the property, but everything seemed you know, very good. We're very happy with the, the way due diligence went. And then driving the area, we got to ch a chance to not only see some of the big uh, retail and, and employers in the area, but we also got a chance to look at a lot of the uh, uh, the comps. And when we when you look at the comps in the area, you're, you'll find that a lot of these uh, the buildings that were built within, say, five or ten years of this property are actually doing significantly higher in terms of their, their rents, um, oftentimes over $100 um, per unit in, in rent. Um, on our end, we went in conservative, um, just, just in, as far as what we believe the, uh, the projections will be, um, but it looks like there's definitely a significant upside in, in the property, and the property in itself, you know, lo it looks, um, exteriors and interiors look very, very similar to where the comps are. I think some light improvements on the interiors uh, are gonna go a long way, and as long as we just, you know, keep the property performing like it is and keep the exteriors looking good, do some light touches on the, the interiors, I think we're gonna be able to, to uh, you know, really uh, achieve some great, uh, great, great upside great results. The other thing that was good is that as we were going through the leases, we saw people being rejected. That means they're not just taking anybody with a pulse into this property. They have strict standards, three times the rent. And I remember even going through one of the leases yesterday that had a rejection. The income was there, but there was you know uh, some credit issues. So they they're really looking at it with a fine tooth comb and uh, still performing properly leading up to the close, which was reassuring.